Hi guys, welcome to the latest external walkthrough for our Coastline 216 family van. As I mentioned before, this is a really exciting van, this one. It's, uh, it's a new design and uh, I think you're going to like what we've done here with the bunk area in this. But the first thing you'll see in this van is this amazing colour scheme. This is the new marine blue along with the dove grey on the overhead cupboards uh, along with a they call a bison i think for the seating there it's a, a dark brown from the eastwood collection with the beautiful halifax oak on the bench tops and that's that uh, the gray got the concrete gray on the floor there like all our island bed vans uh, you'll have storage underneath the bed you've got drawers each side of the bed with bedside tables and you've got these little nooks which you've got power points there charge phones etc reading lights these people have added the Sirocco fan here for the, the bed area. This particular one has got an, an L-shaped lounge uh, with the Nova Mapper table, which will drop down to form a bed. Um, and you've got storage, a drawer underneath that L-shaped lounge. The kitchen, you've got a pantry at the end, plenty of drawer space with a cupboard. These people have decided to go with the mini grill and a pot drawer underneath. You can have a full oven if you wish, and it's three gas, one electric on the cooktop. The stone sink there has got a mixer tap with a built-in water filter. Like all our vans, it's powered by the BM Pro with the track digital display. All our vans are heated with a supplied with a diesel heater as standard with remote control. This is the, the BM Pro Charger Transformer System, which is lithium compatible. And these people have decided to add the Girard Instant Hot Water System, which is very, very popular. Like all our vans, it's got the new Dometic Fresh Jet Aircon. So it's a low power consumption and soft start. So it'll run on a 2 kVA generator or on an inverter. We've gone with, this, with the, uh, the standard 188 litre Dometic compressor fridge, so plenty of storage, very low power usage, nice freezer storage area there. You've also got a pot drawer underneath. Coming around to the bunk area, now this is what you'll see. We haven't done this layout before in the coastline range, but what we've done is we've removed the wardrobe at the end and we've pushed the bed and the ensuite together. And what we've been able to create is this amazing bed area. Have a look at the storage. You could put two kids in this bunk. So plenty of room. So if you've got older kids, teenage kids, this is the ideal van for you. You've got a padded bed head, you've got magazine pocket at the end. And if you have a look, you've got nooks at the head of each bed there. So you've got that in both bunks. Nice big windows, Sirocco fans, and loads of internal storage to access that storage underneath that bottom bunk there. So really good, clever use of space in this particular van. The ensuite doesn't lose out as well too because you've gained that storage area in the corridor. You've got now got a big ensuite. It's got the Thetford China Bowl toilet. You've got storage bench that goes all the way over the toilet. You haven't missed out on your washing machine because you've got a wall mounted washing machine that goes over the toilet and vanity unit above that. And you've gained a linen press. So beside the shower, you've got extra storage here. So you've got all those cupboards and the nooks go behind them. So you've got three shelves in each and then you've got a one piece molded shower inside here so ensuite is really really clever inside this layout and you get those extra wide bunks there which uh, i think every teenage kid's going to love coming away they're sleeping in that so there you have it that's the internal walkthrough there on our latest coastline 216 if you like what you see please head to our website and make an inquiry thank you